What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a whole variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing Spirit Chronicles, and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reviewing Spirit Chronicles episode 6, which felt like the ending and the beginning of an arc. Like other videos, we're going to do a recap and then point out things that were interesting. The episode was about Rio and Latifa being there for a whole year. Like in the last episode, they showed the different seasons. And this one clarify that a year passed and they are celebrating a festival. And they also continue off from the last episode with Reese taking the egg from the cave and they're flying on the griffin with some wyverns following them. This episode was pretty much the wyverns attacking and they were trying to like keep Sildora safe and such. The people of the spirits were defending Sildora and we were able to see their skills. Apparently most of them are bonded with spirits. Some we were able to see them. They had like an animal form. One looked like a wolf, another looked like a lime. It was really cool to see that. Amongst the wyverns there was one black which seemed to be the leader. The black one went ballistic because if we remember, Reese had this soldier guy with him. We totally suspected it was being used as a pawn. Well, he was being used as a pawn. Reese actually left to go back to the Wyvern's cave and got more eggs. While the dude who had that one egg was the bait. The Wyverns were chasing after him. And then Reese killed him with that same thing with the red stone. He crushed it and that dude died. He dropped the egg and it was sad because we saw like the baby wyvern and the black wyvern discovered it, went crazy. And that's when the big fight happened. Rio saves the day using his spirit art skills. The other wyverns left because the black one was the strongest and they're like, okay, if the strongest amongst us got killed, we have no chance. We're gonna leave and save ourselves. Then the next day, Rio and Latifa they continued their conversation from the festival. Rio was telling Latifa that he was leaving. She was really upset, but now that things calm down, she is accepting that he's leaving and that she reveals that she is a reincarnated person. And Rio lets her know that he is one too. So now we have Latifa and Rio with their bond closer. They are like brothers and sisters, especially now that they know they are both Japanese. And Rio is closer with the other girls and Sildora too, but he, I think he friends on them. They're pretty much friends zoned in my opinion. Now that Rio has had that talk with Latifa, she's gonna stay in the Sildora. She's totally okay with it. And Rio's gonna go to Yagumo to find his people. Before he leaves, the people of the spirits give Rio new equipment. So he's got a new sword, he's got a new gear. He even has like a little artifact for storage and such. That's really cool. And then he just goes off. That was the end of the episode. What I found interesting about the episode was one, the girls and Sodora, they were telling him how they wanted to deepen their friendship. Now, at first, it was like, what do you mean deepen? Like, you guys want to go beyond friends? You guys want to be in a more intimate relationship? But no, they just felt like he was building a wall between them. Like, there's a line that was never crossed, and they just wanted to be better friends and such. I mean, it's been a year and they felt like they haven't gotten that much closer with him compared to Latifa, because Latifa and him, they're like family. And so the other girls are like, we want to be that close too. And this totally felt like the girls were being friend zoned. There was no love or intimacy going on. Definitely friends, which I like. I'm like, yay! The more friends, the merrier, right? And Latifa, she totally seems like she got family zoned. Like, Latifa always viewed him as an older brother because in her previous life, she had an older brother, right? And in this world, Rio seems like an older brother to her. He's been taking care of her, etc., etc. But in this episode, it's been solidified. Like, he called her a little sister. So Latifa has been 
family zone, which I find really endearing, especially since Ryo lost his parents when he was a kid. And we haven't seen any of his family members from Yuguma yet. Another part of the episode that I found interesting were the girls in Sozora that have spirits bonded to them. I thought that was really cool. If we remember the first time we saw them, we saw Wolf, right? Well, apparently that was when the girl's spirit bond. And then the dwarf, I believe, had a spirit bonded to them named Ifrit, and it was a lion. And I thought that was super, super cool because I'm thinking, does everybody have a spirit bonded to them? Will Latifah have a spirit bonded to her? That'd be really awesome. We can see what she can do later on because we've seen Rio showcase a lot of spirit art stuff. And then we saw that other girl who he learned spirit arts from. For this one, we can see the others. We can see more skills, more variety. I'm hoping we're going to see more in future episodes. The next part I was really interested in was Reese taking eggs from the Wyvern Cave. Apparently, the egg that they took in the last episode was just the bait, was just to take the Wyverns away from the cave. And Reese's main objective was to collect the rest of the eggs, like more. And he was cheating. He was using some type of like magic or spirit arts and he created like these little portals underneath like, the eggs and they just, they just dropped in and transported somewhere it could have been like a storage thing or whatever it is, but that was so cheap and i'm wondering what is he going to use these eggs for i know he said something two episodes or one episode ago what the eggs were for and whatnot but it's like did you really have to sacrifice that guy just to get these eggs I was hoping we were going to see that guy because he looked like he really wanted to join the Celestial Lion Brigade. Like, it, I feel bad for him. And we got to learn how Reese killed that assassin dude. So this guy who was used as bait holding the egg, he ate the red stone. And Reese crushed another red stone. And when he crushed it, that's what killed uh, the bait dude. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And it kind of makes it seem like Reese views everybody disposable. And I'm just wondering, would anyone eat a red stone from him? Is it because he's a superior or something like that? It was just really weird. I wouldn't eat a red stone. I, I think I would fake it. I'd be like, go. And then when they went away, I would like spit it out and such. And the last thing that I found interesting from this episode was Rio's new equipment. It totally looks like what we saw in the opening. He has new clothes. He has like a coat. He has a new weapon. And he has like this accessory that's going to be used for storage. It's really awesome. I like it. I mentioned in my reaction that I like seeing that his storage stuff is from an object because a lot of isekais storage is like a skill it just you know pops up it's a magic and whatnot but no this one is from an artifact you get it from this thing it's rare it's special it looks pretty i like it and now that rio has new gear it definitely feels like a new arc is about to begin it's like okay rio what are you going to do with these new items equipment that you have what more can you do you are prepped for more challenges and such, which I'm excited for because in the opening, they showed a lot of stuff that we haven't even encountered yet. And that concludes my review for Spirit Chronicles Episode 6. If there's anything that I missed, please let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't seen the episode, let me know what your impression is so far. If you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos like to stop by the stream. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reviewing Spirit Chronicles Episode 6. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.